address this year from a personal side? You start the season uh, rather badly in Anaheim and, and finish it not very well here. But what's this year been like for you? Well, there's been a lot of turmoil. It's been a new experience in both ends of it. First time I've ever been replaced as a head coach. Uh, you see some similarities from the standpoint of, of uh, having changed addresses and the upsetting of your family life and the turmoil. I haven't been home in seven weeks. I've uh, been on the road, basically. And The uh, professional side of it is, is that you have to adapt to the changes that are taking place on both of the rosters and, and in the situation that I was put in. And I, I felt very fortunate that I would coached in Anaheim for seven almost seven years. This was my seventh season and I felt very, very fortunate that I get an opportunity to come back and, and work for the Toronto Maple Leafs for the second time in my life. And I look at those situations as positives. Has it set you back, has it set you back at all that after years and years and years of, of success and winning records that suddenly things yeah. weren't going your way? And I, do you look, do you, do you take a step back and say, well, why, what happened and why didn't it work? I think you look at those things and you don't look at them when you're involved in and immersed in it. I think it's something you look at over the course of the summer months. But again, in pro sports, there's uh, the up cycle and the down cycle. And the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis and how you handle people and, and the things that, that make your system work, you're always going to be challenging yourself. Are you doing the right thing? And that's what you're going to live through. And you copy, steal, whatever you can as a coach to what successful people are doing. And I talked about Ken Hitchcock when he went to St. Louis and the statements that he made about going there, that he tried to bring a positive attitude day in, day out, no matter what was happening outside of, of uh, the rink or outside of the playing surface or what had happened the night before, that he was going to take a positive approach and try to do that on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's what I've tried to do in the situation that I've been in. And that's stealing, really, from Ken Hitchcock.